the album cover name for this song Odihanu is uh, something that uh, people use in old days for mixing medicine so they mix the medicine and any type of medicine and they give to people and some people feel like they are curing only with this Odihanu if if it mix with another plate they don't feel like they get better always people have to sing love songs love songs love songs but they don't think of our culture and the deep side of our language they don't realize just so good our language is for me is very deep meanings are there in one word like so we don't have freedom in music you know more is the way that it is because our language is not been freed the way we want uh actually i play cover songs mostly I love to play some covers if somebody can sing good. So but I always interested in making composing music. And normally we play gigs at islands like that hotels at the hotels. We are just make them train to hear from the both ears our own creative music with Dewehi language or with English language. Try to understand the creative music of Maldives. So we are distributing freely to our people. We make a show and we give free to free. the people. So the lyrics are really, as I understood it, in a in a very poetic language, speaking Divahi on a very high level. So they use other words in another way, and uh, I most of the time I don't understand this poetic language. But for me, it's very important to understand it still. So I, we we talk while vocal recording. We talk we talk a lot about the songs and. What is it you are singing there? Because I'm having a hard time of singing, of telling me how to sing and getting a feeling for the song if I don't know what the lyrics are. So we talk about every song before recording. What is the lyric? What should the feel? What do you say in the song? And where does the song want to go? And what is the emotion you are expressing? music is really is like feels mixed like up. mixed no. up because Fusion. what we have from childhood we listen we like blues we like reggae we like indian music we can make anything we but we have listen it's a completely unique thing for me it is really true many uh, songs are kind of a reggae style but always they have something special to it you might call it a, a ethno pop swing reggae jazz thing going on It's up to the people who listen. They can label the it. The musician we were working with here was great they were so focused in music and they, everybody communicates with the language of music respecting each other to finish it the best way they can i thought about this and whether it will go good and whether it will work but these guys were here and uh, we formed the band and we met and we jammed and it was it was going like this and i was i didn't think of it this would being so easy and all the guys were having a really good time in the production and all of they liked it and the chemistry was just right it's a universal language no music so we understand each other very well it is not only the uh, the opportunity to uh, to work with maldivians it's also for me an opportunity to absolutely work with amazing musicians this i must say haisham's voice it's kind of it's kind of a treat because he has so many different kind of tones into his voice haisham is a is a very talented reggae singer that's why i've chosen a drummer who is confident in playing reggae so that was chris gross I was talking to him before. I was meeting up with him at some clubs and we were just talking and I kind of had the same level of understanding with music with him. I realized and I knew that he's playing in a in a reggae band and but he also is really confident with other styles as well. So I thought this is this is the guy. For the bassist Julian, so he's a very experienced bassist. Thing is the main reason why I picked him was also because he he listens to people like and and understands people so I'm sure I can make every production even rock and roll with him to reggae uh, and we are like um having a nice level of of communication that's what it's all about no it's about music and 
The guitarist Dennis, I know that we are personally confident and he's actually the best, best guitarist I know and he's also playing in the reggae band with, uh, with Chris. So this is actually was an easy thing that of course Dennis will have to be there. Michael, the keyboarder, he was like playing really awesome stuff. He was, he was not even familiar to reggae or this style of music before, but he was, he was doing it. He was just exactly in that vibe of, of really playing it right away. And this was a really good experience as well. When they were at the studio, it was just, it was just going. They, were, they, they, they loved to hang around with each other and they loved spending time with each other. So this was a nice experience of bringing good people together and just forming a band for, for a week like this, you know. But these people are so good in music, they dedicate for music. Chris has found us a people who dedicate and love music. This is a time for our country to understand that this understanding has to be in musicians, respect each other. So when we came here, we learned different things from respecting each other in music from Chris and from Johannes and everybody who works in the studio. It's just a big inspiration to have these people here bringing a completely different background and also a different style of working and, and, and just being here and hanging around with them. That was, it was kind of an extraordinary and non-everyday life experience. Yeah. It is Odihano for us. <laughs> we mix medicine here with music greatly, we happily. Some in the future, if there's anybody of Dimmer who wants to record here, I will definitely be the one who says, yes, please. <laughs> we are all Dimmer family now. We are all Dimmer family now. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm